the Commonwealth has certainly ended successfully. And wherever the Queen when she found sincerity, patriotism and loyalty, millions thronged the street and waited patiently just for a glimpse of Her Majesty. And wherever she passed, excitement reigned supreme as voices echoed, God save the Queen. Jamaica, Bermuda, New Zealand and the Fiji received her elaborately. In Australia, her speech was an accomplishment when she opened Parliament. She is the first ruling monarch to visit that country and so her trip there has made history. And in Tonga, Queen Salute welcomed Her Majesty with the biggest banquet in history. In Ceylon she was received in a great big way as peasants chanted happy birthday. In Uganda she opened the windfall dam in spite of some unpleasant alarm. Malta did everything that's possible to welcome the royal couple. And at Tabrak she laid a wreath in memory of those who died defending democracy. With her children and the Duke of Edinburgh, she then said farewell to Malta. And very happily they sailed to Gibraltar, where they boarded the Britannia, escorted home by formations of our air fighters and three squadrons of Canadian sabers. It must have occurred to her that after a long five months' room, the only place now is home sweet home.